Hello and welcome to the Viral Academy. Today we want to flush this VW Touareg with an 8-speed automatic transmission with our flush machine. The transmission is installed in the VW Touareg, Audi Q7, Porsche Cayenne and Porsche Panamera. It has been installed between 2010 and 2018. The special thing about this transmission is that the manufacturer does not specify a maintenance interval. This is referred to as a lifetime filling. The vehicle now has 190,000 kilometers on the clock. We have read out the fault memory and nothing is stored there. However, the driver has already reported problems. We have driven the vehicle and also noticed that the gear shift performance is unusual. When engaging a gear, the whole vehicle jerks and shifts up and down abruptly. So there are already problems here and we want to take an oil sample right away and then take a look at what the fluid looks like. This transmission is adapted here at the bottom of the transmission cooler with our special adapter V99-1148. Johannes, does it leak? It is tight. Of course we also have an expert kit for this vehicle with the number V10 3222XL. What is included? Of course the right fluid in sufficient quantity, a new filter and the corresponding gasket. The spacer sleeves are important, because they have to be fitted in any case. There is also a package. This contains the fastening screws, the drain plug and new magnets. How much fluid do we need for flushing? In the diagnostic tool, the oil change for the removal of the oil pan is given as 6 liters. The new filling quantity for completely dismantling this transmission is given with 12.8 liters. Let's start with 11 liters for the flush. It is possible that more fluid is needed because of the high mileage. The old fluid was in a bad condition. We do it in such a way that we flush out as much dirt as possible from the transmission. We also have this fluid separately in our range. It is called V60131. For vehicles with high mileage, we always recommend getting additional fluid. We have now completed the procedure. Now we remove the oil pan to change the filter. It is important that we collect the fluid we take out of the oil pan, measure the amount and the same amount must be added back later. Here in the oil pan we can see very well how much abrasion has already collected. We have four magnets that are supposed to bind metallic abrasion so that it does not continue to run through the transmission. At some point, the magnets are saturated. Look how much metal abrasion sticks here. So no more abrasion can be absorbed. This remains in the fluid and that is why we replace these magnets every time we change the oil or flush the fluid. When cleaning the oil pan, make sure that no brake cleaner is used. 
Brake cleaner contains nitrates and salts, and these are deposited in the fluid. This is harmful to the transmission. Therefore, please only wipe it off. It is important for the seal that we make sure that these metal sleeves are installed in the seal. Without sleeves, we distort the seal when fitting the oil sump. These are important as stop points. We have screwed on the oil pan. Please tighten the screws crosswise from the inside to the outside and pay attention to the torque. The fluid that we drained when changing the transmission filter must now be refilled. 4.5 liters. We do this with the transmission flush machine. In the next step, we start the engine and shift through all gears. Then we check the transmission oil level. This is done while the engine is running. The standard is that at a temperature of 35 to 45 degrees, the fluid should run out of the control hole. We saw earlier that there is a riser pipe. The oil stands at the edge of the riser pipe and when it overflows slightly and changes from flowing to dripping, then the correct oil level has been reached. It's now 33 degrees, so we're almost there. At 35 degrees, no fluid is coming out of the opening yet. Therefore we fill up another half liter with the flush machine and then it fits here. After removing the adaptation, please check that everything is tight. Then the underride protection can be mounted. Johannes, I'm doing what I enjoy most, test driving. And how does the transmission shift now? Very well. The hesitation I noticed before the flush is gone. The gear shifts are now much smoother. The work was worth it. Johannes, what happened? Yes, transmission flushing on the Touareg, 8-speed automatic transmission. Sometimes you lose and sometimes the others win. Do you have any questions or suggestions? Send us a comment. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.